Hey hey everyone, yeah, I'm gonna be painting. Um, I've got a new setup here. I moved offices uh, and I'm looking forward to it. You can see that I've got the easel all set up. Um, you heard my kids, they're doing some art right now. And we're gonna continue on with that painting that we started on the live stream. Uh, I'm not doing live streams anymore just because I don't have the upload speed. So I'll be recording it and putting that uh, recording onto YouTube. Probably bring down the, the time to about 15, 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes for each recording. Uh, but we'll still have fun and we'll still hopefully learn lots. All right, so I'm just gonna set everything else up. Transition over there. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. Dad, do you really like my painting? I do really like your painting. Do you like my painting? Yeah. All right, so just to review about the paints that we have, if hopefully you're not like me, mine dried all on it. So I've got some ivory white. This says it's Mars black, but it's just like a, a good black. That's just to darken everything up. Then we have cadmium orange. We've got cadmium red. and primary yellow. And last time, what we did, we created our sun, we had our clouds created, we did the coastline here, and we have our horizon line right here. Now I'm just going to find my paint brushes. These paint brushes aren't the super expensive ones. Sure, you can color. Paper's right here. Yeah, you can keep painting. I need one all right, now we are just to refresh where we're at. I have some, oops, darker skies over here. I'm going to try and make these more gray on the sides here, maybe a bit more gray up top as well. I'll be, um, It's right here. Oh. Gray right here on the outsides. We're going to lighten this sun up a bit more. That's hard to see. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll get the lighting figure out. And we're going to darken up our clouds. And we're going to remember that our sun is rays all the way out. So the darker um, parts are going to be away from the sun. And the lighter points are going to be closer to the sun. This is going to be a lot of blending. I'm going to be doing a lot of blending work into this. So I'll get that, get my brush wet, and I'm going to start mixing my black and white together. See that little. I want it pretty, pretty light. Add maybe a little yellow down here and a little orange as well. How does that look? Yeah, I'm not sure 
There we go. It's hard. It's a little. It's going to be a little harder to blend right now just because of our paint is all dry around. So we'll be. Uh, touching it up later on but right now we really just want to get that gray sky around move that gray sky all the way around oh that's a good one right over on that side now we can add a little more orange and red or orange and yellow to that and try and blend that in a little more while I'm mixing I don't know if you guys have seen it but I have an update on my chicks also got an update where Marlin is getting chased by the rooster and you see me get to kind of manhandle the rooster a little bit just because that's how you get roosters to start listening to you. starting to come together a little more trying to blend that up a little bit it's gonna be hard like I said it's gonna be hard to match that and get that blending together but that's okay this is just for fun and to relax Sorry, you couldn't see that. All right. As I get closer to the sun, I'm going to make it lighter with the yellow and white. There we go. Oh, I missed a little bit over here. And Teddy came to join us. Hey, Teddy. Can I show everybody your painting? Yes. Okay, here's Marlin's painting. Oh, wow. Oh, and here's Teddy. Want to see my dog? Here's Teddy. Teddy! <laughs> Good job. Okay. Now, Teddy, go. All right. Well, Teddy wanted to go say hi to the chick, so I'm going to just go get Teddy. Teddy upstairs. Alright, so we kind of fixed that up a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to be moving into the clouds. 
And as the sun's going down, the clouds are going to be a little darker away from the sun. There's no real science to it of how you're going to darken the cl or how dark or where you where you put the darkening of the clouds. You just start placing it, right? And as you get closer to the sun from the clouds or with the clouds, we're going to make it lighter. Now. You're going to see me struggle through this because I've always struggled through this and I just have. So we're going to be blending and adding some lighter colors. Not too much. to the clouds. I don't have a proper brush for it and that's okay. It's better to have like a circular brush, brush while you're doing this. And it's actually a good idea to blend your colors so that you go from the darkest Right, you have your darkest, then you go lighter. So the darkest gray, right? And then I have a lighter gray. Then I have an even lighter gray. And that's kind of what I'm working on while I mix these colors, is to have those lighter grays going on. I just put gray on the sun. It's okay. And as we start getting those grays into the clouds to lighten up the clouds a bit, afterwards we're going to blend in some yellows and some oranges that we can help blend it in so that there's not such a stark contrast between the, the clouds. Because if you look at pictures of the sunset and the sunrise and everything like that, you will see that, come on, the clouds blend in, get the colors of the sky, changed my brush here just to try and get some better blending going on in there.
Luckily, I have a landmass actually coming over here, so I'm not a little ups I am a little upset about how this cloud is turning up, but whatever. It's going to be covered up soon. I hope. Hope I'll cover it all up. Now, when Now I'm mixing white. I'm going to mix a little yellow into there. Try and get kind of see it. Good blending going on there. There we go. Blend it up. Blend it up. Ooh, my touched a little of the block here. You can see that right there. Eh, eh, oi. What am I doing? That's all right, I can fix that after. I can fix that at another time. Or that's just a straight down cloud. I don't know. We'll figure it out. As Bob Ross says, there's only happy little accidents, so we'll make it work. And blend. Blend that cloud up oh. with itself. Oh, and Henry has completed his work. He decided to draw some scary, scary people. Oh my. can hear it in the background but my chickens are going crazy
just going crazy. Sorry about all the flares, guys, but can't really do much. Clouds are my nemesis. Maybe next time I'm not going to do clouds. I think. I think I'll not do clouds next time. <laughs> or maybe I should so I can keep practicing clouds. I'm just gonna make that disappear, I think, coming up. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to touch things up, but it's just making it worse. So I'm going to, I think, move on. Maybe I'm going to continue on. I know there's my horizon line. I think I'll either be working on the right around here, so the sun glare, or the landscape there. No, we don't want, yeah, maybe I'll do the landscape. Just do, we'll just do what's called blocking it out right now. So we'll grab some, make some more gray. I think I'll add a little more white to it. Maybe add a nice, some r nice red to it, cadmium red. To give it a little more definition here. And then I'll just block out.
did I say I was doing the ocean? I don't think I'm doing the ocean. I'm going to just kind of do the land here. As I'm getting closer, I'm going to be adding, keep blocking that, sorry, I'm going to be adding some more black to show some more definition about some cliffs, things getting closer. Just blocking this out so we don't need all that detail yet. Okay, and with that, I think we're coming to a close for today. Thank you for joining, and see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.